Okay, in this video series, we're going to cover how you do server scaling across the three major cloud providers. Uh, that would be auto scaling in AWS, uh, virtual machine scale, scale, scale sets in Azure, and then managed instance groups in Google Cloud. And so we've got a very simple application that we're going to deploy in all three environments. The, it consists of um, some simple Flask based microservices. And those microservices store uh, just some names and you can get them out and there's a couple of endpoints that we'll go over. And um, we also use a document database, the appropriate one for um, the cloud provider to store the microservice data. So that's DynamoDB in AWS, Cosmos DB in Azure, and then a Firestore. Uh, and what we do is we deploy those microservices into virtual machines uh, using Packer. So Packer allows us to take an AMI, uh, an image in the other environments. And then once we, once we have that image built, can do cloud native scaling solutions. Um, and all this is done in Terraform. And every example is gonna have a complete uh, set of scripts that builds it from start to finish. Now we've configured the services to essentially um, scale up uh, when the load on the CPU is above 60%. Um, and then when it falls below 60% for a number of minutes, it'll scale back down. Let's talk about the Flask endpoints. Now the Flask endpoints, um, again, there's, there's four of them. There's a GTG Git, which is the good to go health, get candidate name, post candidate name to add a new one, and then Git and finally, that's 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 the four of them. What I'm going to do is just run the validate script. And that should validate the solution. Uh, what I'm going to do is take that in here. And OK, and you'll see it gives you it's connected and then also uh, the instance ID of the EC2 instance. Now this will be a little bit different on the three variations, but essentially what it'll allow you to do is hit send, send, and send. And what you'll see is this is a load balancer. We'll use a load balancer in every solution. And it cycles through the different instances when you keep hitting send, send, send. So that's the good to go endpoint. Then we've got the uh, candidates, which will give you a list of the candidates. There's only one. Uh, then there is a candidate endpoint, so I can say John, and it should come back and say, hey, I didn't find it. So I'm going to put John Smith, hit uh, send, and that's going to add, add, get to get that list. Now what I want to do is add some additional ones. So I'm going to add five ones uh, with the name homie. So i got to change the method to post, hit send, and then. Now I should be able to go back and there you go. Then you have the complete list. Um, architecture diagram for the free solution. So this one is two and I've got that auto scaling group and the instances are placed in different availability zones. Of course, the database is Dynamo. We're using public endpoints. Sometimes you'd want to use private endpoints, but for this example, we're just using public endpoints. So that means the instances have to have a uh, you know, public internet access. The front of it is that load balancer, an application load balancer, which is serving between these these two availability zones. Um, the minimum number of instances in it is two. Um, the default is two, and the maximum is four. So that's the AWS solution. Now let's look at the Azure solution. The Azure solution is very similar. Uh, we've got subnets, and what we'll talk about in the videos is how subnets are different. Subnets in AWS are grouped by availability zone. In Azure, they're grouped more by function. So to the actual application gateway, which is the load balancer, needs some subnet. And then there's a subnet for the scale set, which has the instances. And we're talking to a Cosmos DB database. Again, no private endpoints. It's all doing public internet. Uh, also, the subnets you'll notice that I have one subnet and there's multiple availability zones. That's a key difference between AWS and the other cloud providers. A subnet can actually span multiple availability zones or data centers. 
Um, so that is one central difference that you'll, you'll, you'll get out of this exercise. Finally, there's the GCP, and it's very simple. There's a, a load balancer, and then there's the manage instance groups that manages the Flask instances. They're also spread around different uh, availability zones, and then the database is Firestore, and it's doing the public internet, so it's the same deal. We could do a private endpoint, but for the most part, uh, we're doing public on all these. So that's it for the overview. Um, at the end of going through all these videos, if you go through it, you'll have a complete working scaling example across all cloud providers. And you should be able to be able to take this code and adapt it and modify it for your own use.